guys, welcome back to the Indian and Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn the post notification bell on so you can get an update every time there's a new release. So, as our title suggested today, we'll be talking about HPV. So, what is HPV? Who gets it? And how can we prevent it? So, HPV stands for the human papilloma virus and it's a viral infection that, that commonly cause skin or mucous membrane growths or warts so it's basically the most common sti known and how is it spread you can get hpv by having vaginal anal or oral sex with someone who has the virus it's the and it's most commonly spread during vaginal or anal sex it can also spread through close skin to skin, touching during sexual intercourse. And a person with HPV can indeed pass that infection to someone else even when they don't have any signs or symptoms. So if you are sexually active, you can get HPV even if you have sex with only one person. You can also develop symptoms years after having sex with someone who had the infection so this may make it hard for you to find out or know where you got it first so people may ask does hpv cause health problems well nine out of ten times hpv goes away on its own within the two years the first two years without health problems but when hpv does not go away it can cause serious health problems like genital warts and cancer so genital warts usually appear as small bumps or a group of bumps in the genital area and they can range from being large small they can be raised or flat or they can even shape like a cauliflower so your healthcare provider your doctor is usually the one who diagnoses genital warts and tell you what these are so does hpv cause cancer well, HPV can cause cervical cancer and other cancers including cancer of the vulva, the vagina, the penis, or the anus. It can also cause cancer in the back of the throat. We call those oropharyngeal cancers. And this can also include the base of your tongue and your tonsils. Right? So how can you avoid getting HPV and the health problem that it comes with. Well, you can do several things to lower your chance of getting HPV. The first one is to get vaccinated. So we have an HPV vaccine right now and it's safe and effective. It can protect against diseases including the cancers caused by HPV when given in the recommended age group. So who gets the HPV vaccine? So all preteens, including boys, it's not just for girls, it's both boys and girls get the HPV vaccine. So all boys and girls at 11 or 12 years old can get your HPV vaccine as well as everyone else through the age of 26. If they're not vaccinated already, they need to go and get their vaccine to protect yourself from it you can also use a condom so use your condom if you're sexually active the right way every time you have sex this can lower your chance of getting hpv but a key thing to note is that hpv can still infect the areas that the condom cannot cover so condoms may not fully protect you against getting hpv so if there at any point you believe you're having any of these swords or anything that seems off that may indicate you have hpv go and get it checked out with your doctor as soon as possible and that's it for this video if you have any questions don't forget to drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the dnn medical series on youtube until next time see you soon bye